the Royal Navy is using artificial intelligence for the first time at sea in a bid to defeat supersonic missile attacks. Leading Edge software is being tested at sea against live missiles during the largest exercise of its type off the coasts of Scotland and Norway. Involving more than 3,000 military personnel, Formidable Shield tests the ability of NATO warships to detect, track and defeat incoming missiles, from sea-skimming weapons traveling at twice the speed of sound just above the waterline, to ballistic missiles. Three Royal Navy warships are taking part in the exercise, which runs until early June, destroyer HMS Dragon and two frigates, HMS Lancaster and HMS Argyle. HMS Lancaster and HMS Dragon are trialing artificial intelligence and machine learning applications which offer a glimpse of the future of air defense at sea. Experts from the government's Defense Laboratory Defense Science and Technology Laboratory and industry partners from Roke, CGI and BAE Systems are using the three-week exercise to test the Startle application and Sequoia application systems. As part of the Above Water Systems program, led by Defense Science and Technology Laboratory scientists, the artificial intelligence application improves the early detection of lethal threat, accelerates engagement timelines and provide Royal Navy commanders with a rapid hazard assessment to select the optimum weapon or measure to counter and destroy the target. Startle is designed to help ease the load on sailors monitoring the air picture in the operations room by providing real-time recommendations and alerts. Sequoia builds upon this and is at the forefront of automated platform and force threat evaluation weapon assignment, effectively allowing operations room teams to identify incoming missiles and advise on the best weapon to deal with them more quickly than even the most experienced operator. Above-water tactician leading seaman Sean Brooks aboard HMS Lancaster is among those who was impressed by the software. I was able to identify missile threats more quickly than usual and even outwit the operations room, he said. Although experiments with artificial intelligence have been conducted before, this is the first time it's been tested against live missiles, said Lancaster's weapon engineer officer Lieutenant Commander Adam Leverage. Observing Startle and Sequoia augment the human warfighter in real time against a live supersonic missile threat was truly impressive, a glimpse into our highly autonomous future. Alistair Gilchrist, Program Manager for Defense Science and Technology Laboratory said it was imperative that Britain continued to invest in the combat systems installed on Royal Navy warships to ensure they meet present and future challenges. Being able to bring get the artificial intelligence onto the ships is a massive achievement, and while we can prove the artificial intelligence works in the labs, actually getting Navy personnel hands-on is brilliant, he said. <music> Lancaster's commanding officer Will Blackett said the scale of formidable shield and the assets and technology involved the latest drones, leading edge missile systems and sensors, coupled with the best trained sailors, scientists and technicians made the exercise a hugely beneficial experience for all. The scale of this endeavor is remarkable, NATO can bring some serious firepower to bear when it needs to and it is exciting to be part of the development of future tactics and equipment, he added.
While HMS Lancaster and HMS Dragon trial technologies brand new to the fleet, HMS Argyle, the first ship in the Navy to be fitted with the Sea Scepter air defense missile, has been testing upgraded software and developing tactics to push the limits of her artisan radar and Sea Scepter as part of a task group. The sheer weight of hardware brought together in this exercise, and the chance to test the teams and systems against real speed supersonic sea skimming and ballistic targets cannot be underestimated, said Lieutenant Commander Richard Dobson, HMS Argyle's principal warfare officer. It has built the confidence of the team, pushed the boundaries of what these highly capable systems can do, and will help develop our future tactics in missile defense. Taking a quick break from dodging missiles the three Royal Navy ships found time to form up for a navigational exercise, demonstrating their ability to operate in close proximity to one another whilst conducting flying sorties with a Wildcat helicopter. Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack said, it's vital that our brave and highly skilled armed forces stay ahead of the game for the security of the United Kingdom and our allies. The Royal Navy's use of artificial intelligence for the first time at sea is an important development in ensuring readiness to tackle threats we may face. I'm proud to see that two Scottish-built Royal Navy vessels are at the heart of this exercise in the waters off the Hebrides. <laughs>